So you're thinking about relocating here to Memphis, you're looking through some of the small towns, well today in this video I'm going to tell you all about Atoka, the good and the bad. So if you want more information about Atoka, then this is the video for you. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Gowdy. I'm a realtor right here in Memphis. You found the Moving to Memphis, Tennessee channel. If you're new to the channel, what we do is we give you guys tours of Memphis, the surrounding suburbs, small towns, and help you get the information you need to make a decision about relocating right here to Memphis. Um, so if that's you and you're looking for information on Memphis, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Go ahead and click that bell to be notified just as soon as the videos come out because we've got videos coming out weekly about all the towns and neighborhoods right here in the Memphis area. Um, if you are that person that's relocating to Memphis and you know you're coming here, well, take it one step further, guys. Reach out to me. Give me a call or a text at the number below. I want to talk to you to share the information I have and the knowledge I've, I've gained over the years living in the Memphis area to help you and your family make that decision about the uh, relocation right here to Memphis. So in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about Atoka, Tennessee. Atoka is a small town that sits just north of Memphis, um, right across the Shelby-Tipton County line. Memphis is in Shelby County. County, Atoka is in Tipton County. Um, it's a short commute into, into Memphis for if you're working there, but it's a, it's a, it's a great it's a great little small area that sits, like I said, in Tipton County. So we're going to go through just a, just a few pros and cons. Um, I guess it's my opinion of, of Atoka, um, but I've got a short list for you guys I wanted to share. So let's jump right into it. On the first one, the pro is that it is a small town. It's a slower pace of life. I mean, a lot of people know each other. They've grown up in the area. They know their kids. Uh, grandma and aunts and uncles all live in the area. So if you're looking for that small town life, maybe um, able to get out and look at you know some horses and, and cows and things that sit right outside the town, the pastures, um, that, that's an option for you. So that small town easy living is a pro, I think, of Atoka. But at the same time, maybe that's a con as well, right? So I'm going to move that over to the con list as well. I'm kind of double dipping there, I realize that. But it's, it could be considered a con as well because it is a small town, right? I mean, there's only there's one grocery store, which is Kroger. There's only a handful of gas stations. Um, if you're looking to go shopping or go for restaurants, I mean, you're really going to be traveling out to Memphis or down into Millington to do that. There's only just a few small local restaurants in Atoka. Now we do have, there is a, you know, a, a KFC and things like that, the small fast food chains. But as far as a nice sit down restaurant, that's, there's really not an option there. Um, there is um, a Olympic Pizza Cafe, which is a locally owned spot there. It's nice, it's more like a buffet style, but there again, it's, I wouldn't consider it fine dining. Our next pro on the list for me guys is that it's it's a new area. It's up and coming, like it's, it's a hot area. Most of the homes are new, a lot, I mean a majority of them have been built within the last 10 years. So you've got new homes, which it comes along with the big open floor plans, the, the nice yards, the stone work on the front of the house, granite counters, new fixtures. So the fact that the majority of the homes have been built in the last 10 or 15 years, I mean, it's got a lot of life left in those homes and they're beautiful homes. So I think that's a pro as well, as most of the construction has been new or newer in the past decade. So you can find a really nice home that's up to, to modern day standards. Um, a con of that is obviously with all that influx of people coming in is the infrastructure is kind of lagged behind, right? I mean, there's only two main roads heading uh, into town, north and south, which is Rosemark Road or Mead Lake. And during rush hour and, uh, you know, school drop-offs and things in the morning, well, obviously those roads get a little overwhelmed, so you'll be sitting in a line of traffic. There are only two lane roads at the moment. But um, I think the plan is to widen them a little bit because they're going to have to to keep up with all the influx of people moving into the area. So I, I would think the infrastructure is lagging a little bit behind. So that, that's kind of a con there. Um, my favorite pro, and I believe the most, the, the, one of the main comments I get about Atoka is Atoka Elementary. Everybody loves that school. It's a newer school. It, it's beautiful. and. It sits right on Rosemark Road. Everybody loves Atoka Elementary, and I know that because when I talk to people about it, not only did they mention the school, but they mentioned the principal's name, they mentioned the teachers that they had, they're calling them by name, they're um, giving them shout outs on Facebook and things like that. So I think Atoka Elementary is doing a great job of being part of the community and just keeping their, their 
their students happy, their parents happy. And if you look on niche.com, like it's not, I'm not judging it, but if you look on niche.com, which is a website we go to kind of help give us an idea of the quality of the schools, I think they're rated like an A minus. So that tells you something too. I mean, Atoka Elementary is a great school. There's a con to that though, is, and that is Atoka does not have a middle or a high school. So once the kids you know, they're through the fifth grade and they're moving on to middle school or high school, they actually have to go to the competing towns. So I think a con of Atoka is that they don't have a middle or a high school. Those kids are going to Munford or to Brighton, which is, it's not far. It's still only 20, 30 minutes most, but there again, they don't have their own high school. So I'm hoping sooner than later, we'll be able to get our own middle school or high school in the area and um, give those kids an, an opportunity to, to stay in Atoka schools and uh, move on through the, through the you know, from, from K to 12 grade. One pro I, I wanted to mention earlier, but I didn't, is the Parks and Recreation Department. Parks and Recreation in Atoka is excellent. I mean, they've got soccer, baseball, um, flag football, uh, softball for the girls. The little girls competitive softball teams, they play right there in Atoka. I think we've got some footage of that park. I'll get Jerry to share with us, but you, you'll see there's tons of uh, tournaments and things going on all the weekends and uh, little girls softball is, is a big deal in Atoka. But that not to take away from the baseball teams or the soccer teams either. My kids play soccer there. They've played there since they were little and they, and they love it. So, and another thing about that Atoka Park is, you know, we're here in Memphis, we're in, the, we're in the South, and man, it's hot in the summers. So that Atoka Park there, it also has a little splash pad, so the moms can take the toddlers out there and let them cool off in the water without having them worry falling into a pool or something. It's just a splash pad, and the kids really love that. I think it's open from, from May till September, so that, that's, a, that's a pro there. Um, and then also we have the walking trails that go through the neighborhood. So I'll lump all that into one pro is the parks and recreation. I'm going to end with four pros and only three cons guys, because, uh, I I'm proud of Atoka. I live in the area and I think you guys would enjoy it just as much as I do. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we've got other videos coming out. And if you are relocating to the Memphis area, take it one step further, guys. Reach out to me. Give me a call. Send me a text at the number below. I want to talk to you and share all the knowledge I've got about not only Atoka, not only Memphis, but the whole metropolitan area, guys. I've been here for 25 years in the real estate game, and I'd love to help you with that decision of relocating right here to Memphis. That's all I've got on this one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.